Can you believe August is already in the past? Crazy, crazy stuff. So, a new month, and this, I think September, there's something about it, it's very schooly, it's like the second fresh start in the year, and so it feels like a perfect time for me to start my last kind of main language of 2016. So, what's it gonna be? Well, you may have already seen by now on social media that if I can pick it up, <laughs> Indonesian. So, why Indonesian? Well, for starters, this um, kit I got for free. Yes, because remember, did you go to the polyglot gathering in like 2015 and teach yourself gave away one of these complete language kits in any language to everyone that was there? Well, this is the one that I picked. So that's one reason, because I have like a big resource for it. Number two is that, <laughs> number two is that when we go on our huge mega massive trip, if you haven't read about that yet, and you're thinking, what is she talking about? There's a link in the description below, which explains everything. Well, when we go on that big trip next year, heading towards Papua New Guinea, to discover this language. That big trip, there's gonna be some points where we're stopping in places for a few months because I'm gonna be working. It's not just like, <laughs> woo, you know, there's gonna be work needing to happen. So we're gonna be kind of settling in places as we go. And Indonesia, Malaysia, around about there is probably somewhere where we would like to stop for a little bit longer than other places. And so that's why it's gonna come in quite handy. I know at the start of the year I said this was like my dabble year and with Korean and Esperanto it's definitely been that. It's just been so much more playful than the kind of academic structured language learning that I'd had for so long before that. And But with, es with Indo Esperanto, with Indonesian, um, the thing is because like I just said, it, it does have more of a real, um, real life kind of purpose to learn this because I want to be in the place and I want to use the language for a longer period of time so I want to get better at this you know I need this more so then I'm gonna use my month of languages this is my new guide that I've created for you too so you can get this for free just again link in the description below it's really a solid look at the month ahead for you for language learning so you've got first page what do I want you know so what are you going to study, what do you want by the end of the month, what tools are you going to use, how often are you going to study, how are you going to document it, and how will you hold yourself accountable. So you can kind of plan out the whole thing at the very, very start. Then you've got a month in review. So I filled this out for me for Indonesian, for um, Korean, which I'm just going to keep kind of playfully on the side. Like I said, very playful. Not all language learning has to be right. And also I'm bringing in Russian on Duolingo only because again, big trip, that's gonna be a language that's very useful. And so that's the plan. It's never been something I've massively wanted to study. Like, oh yeah, I really wanna do that language. So, but I know it's gonna be important. So I have to keep it light and fun and very sort of simple. So I'm just gonna do Duolingo for now and maybe it will intrigue me. Maybe then I will feel like, yeah, okay, I do wanna kind of go, go further with this. But Indonesian is the focus. That's what I've done, I've done my month plan. Then you've got weekly planners and weekly reviews as well. So at the end of each week, you kind of sit down and say, right, how did I do compared to what I wanted to do this week? You know, that sort of regular um, stepping in and kind of tracking your progress to see, am I doing you know, the right things here? Am I going in the right direction? Is really, really valuable, I think. And from the weekly reviews, let me skip to the end. There's a lot of weeks in a month, right? You then have month in review and looking forward as well. So, you know, hopefully by the end of the month you'll be feeling like, yeah, I, I did some good stuff this month and I'm feeling really pumped. So where am I gonna go next with this language? So you can kind of plan ahead. And then next month, download a new planner. And if you like it, if you like this new planner and it's kind of, you know, people like it, then what I'll do next month is I'll actually make it interactive as well. So you don't even have to print it if you don't want to. You can just kind of type in the answers on your computer. Yay! So something I do want to do with Indonesian to make sure my study is a bit more structured and I'm actually documenting the language, and I've written this in my guide, how am I going to document this? First of all, Snapchat regularly, daily, so you can follow me on there at LD Languages and you'll get sort of more regular updates on my progress, but also YouTube, aka right here. So, let's do some Indonesian. 
First things first then, Indonesian is not a completely new language to me. I have studied this a little bit before in the past, but only really when I visited the country for just a couple of weeks. And so it's very basic, but I know some stuff, you know, kind of the, the I'm not like zero beginner, I'm like 0 0.1. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is where I am right now with Indonesian at the start of my studies. Salamat pagi, hello. Um, uh, nama saya Lindsay, saya tinggal um, di Inggris, saya Dima Inggris, na, dari saya uh, uh, satu, dua, empat, satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enak, uh, ayam, nasi goreng, me goreng, um, bebek, um, uh, Sapi jantan, sapi, anjing, um, terima kasih, sama-sama, jalan-jalan, uh, um, tak, ya, uh, uh, tidak, tidak, ya, um, hmm, tolong, um, saya tidak meng Mengkani, mengkarani. Um, I think that's it. <gasps> Sampai jumpa. Sampai jumpa. Yes. Okay. That's that's. <laughs> as you can see, I know next to nothing. Like zero point one, right? Yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do a monthly update video of my progress. So I'm gonna speak Indonesian because it's much more important for me to speak Indonesian than it has been to speak. Esperanto or Korean um, so far this year, they, they've been much more kind of hobby based and less important for me to get the speaking right from the start. So whereas Indonesian, like I said, I'm going to use this in a practical sense, so the speaking to me is much more important, which is why I'm going to share with you next month another update of where I am. Four weeks after my month in languages, I'm hoping I'll be somewhere good. <laughs> <laughs> Using the course, I'm going to do one unit each week, which means, according to what they say, after this month, I should be able to greet people and introduce myself, basic yes and no questions, give and understand basic info about nationality and language, and talk about my job and study. So I put my Indonesian study, so to kind of make it more specific to me. So hopefully, in four weeks' time, when I uh, share another Indonesian update with you, I'll be able to do all of that stuff and say a little bit more than I have today. Are you Indonesian? Are you studying Indonesian? Do you have any tips? Anything I need to know? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for regular language learning videos. I will see you very soon. Thank you. Terima kasih. Bye. Sampai jumpa.